Hey there, Mr. Credit here, host of the Lunch Hour ESPN 1700 weekdays at noon. Today, we're going to talk about the auto loan myth. That's right. There's a huge myth that a lot of people have about auto loans that is completely the opposite of what the truth is. This is going to blow your mind. You're going to share this with everyone you know. The myth is that if I pay my auto loan off early, that is good for my credit score, right? I mean, it shows that you not only had the ability to pay back, but you had the ability to pay it back sooner than they even expected you to. That should be a good thing for your credit. People get all excited about this. They tell me, oh, well, you know, here's where my credit is now, but I'm gonna pay my auto loan off early, and then I'm gonna pay my wife's off early too, and then that should make us look really good. But that's just not true. The truth is that you actually need an auto loan. You need one to have your best possible credit score. And if you pay your auto loan off early, then six months later, you don't have activity on that auto loan in the last six months because it's paid off. So there's no more activity. And because of that, your score can actually go down. Remember, there's two reasons why your credit score can go down. A new negative item shows up or an old positive item goes away. And that's what starts to happen. So that auto loan becomes less and less significant every month that goes by and your credit score goes lower because you paid your auto loan off too soon. Why is this the case? Why would that make sense? It just doesn't make any sense, but it does. Think about it. Remember why the credit scoring model exists. It's so that banks can make quick decisions about who to lend money to, right? So they can make the most amount of money. When you pay your loans off early, that saves you money, but who loses money? That's right, the big banks, and they're in bed with the credit bureaus big time. That's why this is a big part of your credit score. Having a good mix of credit is worth 10% of your score. If your score is 700, it's 70 points. It's huge, and this is exactly why if someone doesn't have an auto loan or they paid off their car and have had a paid off car for a long period of time, especially if your credit score is in the you know mid 500s, high 500s, if you just go borrow a simple $500 or $1,000 as an auto loan against the car at your local bank, your credit score will go up 50, 60, 70 points just like that. Isn't that something? So here's what you should do. Always have an auto loan. No, it's okay to pay your cars off, but just make a plan within the next six months after your cars have been paid off to go and get a small auto loan so you make sure you have activity on an auto loan within your credit report in the last six months. As long as you have that, you're good to go. Remember, the amount doesn't matter. A $500 loan is fine. You need to have that activity in the last six months, though. That's the key. That's the thing to understand. When people come to me and their credit scores have gone down, this is the thing that they almost always do not know about. A cosign is okay. If you and your spouse go and get a car loan together, then that will work for both of you, not just one of you. So that is one of the good things about it. You shouldn't co-sign ever unless you have to. Don't do it for this reason. Okay, also a lease is fine. You don't need to get a traditional loan. If you have a car lease, that counts as an auto loan account on your credit report. So leases are okay. Well, I hope this has been helpful. I'm here to help any way that I can with respect to helping you understand the things that they don't want you to know. And trust me, this is a big one. You can get more and watch more of my videos at youtube.com slash mrcreditradio or you can like the fan page facebook.com slash mrcreditradio. And you can always email me directly at mrcreditradio.com. I appreciate your time. Hope it's been helpful. We'll talk to you again soon.